वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 11.1 सो स्टेटमेंट इज दैट द सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीम इज मेड अब ऑफ टिम्बर दैट हैज एन अलाउेबल बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस इज 6.5 पॉइंट फाइव मेगा पासकल एंड अलाउेबल शेयर स्ट्रेस इज 500 हंड्रेड किलो पासकल डिटरमाइन इट्स डायमेंशन इफ इट इज टू बी रेक्टेंगुलर एंड हैविंग हाइट टू वेट रेशो ऑफ वन so you can see this uh, figure uh, this is the beam that is timber and cross section is of rectangular clear and there is a uniformly distributed load of 8 kN per meter and that is supported by two column at a distance of 2 meter from each side so what we have to find is to find the dimension of b so initially given that it is rectangular in cross section so what if i draw it a rectangular section so let this is its width which is represented as b and this is its height which is represented h also height to weight ratio is given as 1.25 so height to weight ratio is 1.25 so from here you can get h is equal to 1.25 times weight which is b so we will use b instead of w so h is equal to 1.25 times b i will also write here 1.25 b okay now the first step that we will encounter in this problem is to find this uh, uh, reaction force if we remove this support clear so how we will find this let this is r a and this reaction force is r b okay so this is distributed load and the total length of this beam is given as 4 plus 2 plus 2 which is 8 so when you convert this distributed load into point load so 8 multiply by total distance is 8 and that will be acting in the mid that is at a distance of 4 or at a distance of 2 meter from this so i will show you if i convert this 8 so this will be the force and this force point load will be 8 into total length is 8 and it will be acting at a distance of 2 meter from each support so this is equal to 64 kN now you can see the this load is acting at the mid so this reaction force the load is symmetrical so it means that r a is equal to r b is equal to 64 divided by 2 which is equal to 32 kilo newton you can also apply equilibrium conditions as you have now sufficient knowledge how to calculate this reaction force so you will get this r a is equal to r b is equal to 32 okay now we will move further uh, for solving this problem as we know that we have been given as allowable stress is equal to 6.5 mega pascal so that is 6.5 mega pascal and this stress allowable stress is equal to maximum bending moment into c divided by i now we do not know maximum bending moment so for that we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so let's proceed further now from this figure you can see that uh, i have drawn some portion because it will take too much time so i have already uh, sketched the beam now you can see at this point at it, this point 
shear fo uh, shear force will be equal to zero because the load is eight kilonewton per meter so at x is equal to zero it will be zero now if you want to find the shear force at x is equal to two so eight into two will be 16 so let each division i have taken is six uh, eight so eight or oh, eight sixteen so at a distance of two meter there will be a load of 16 okay and this 16 will be in downward direction because this load is acting downward so a 2 16 minus 16 so this point is minus 16 okay now at this point we have this load which is r a and this r a was 32 kilo newton similarly here r b is also 32 kilo newton so at point a we have 32 kilo newton and minus 16 so minus 16 plus 32 is plus 16 so shear force will suddenly change from minus 16 to plus 16 i will also combine them uh, this is your uh, initial force uh, force was zero and at point a, we will join them like this this is a first degree line because you can see the uh, load is a constant line with zero degree and shear force will suddenly change to 16 at point a now from if you move further you can see this portion from this portion to this portion total load is 8 kilo newton per meter when multiplied with 4 will be 32 at this end so 32 and that will be minus 32 because the loads are downward so 16 is this one plus uh, minus 32 will bring it to minus 16 at this point so again we will get this point and if we join them so it will be the shear force now at this point you can see that you have a reactions force of 32 so minus 16 plus 32 will again bring it to plus 16 so this will be plus 16 and this will be minus 16 and again if you look at this the remaining portion this portion so 8 into this 2 will be 16 and that will be minus 16 because the load is downward so plus 16 and minus 16 will bring it to zero so this will be your shear force diagram now using this shear force diagram we will draw the bending moment diagram so you can see this distance is two meter this is again mid so it will be two meter this will be two meter and this will be this is also two meter now the bending moment diagram for this portion will be the area under the shear force diagram since this is triangular so its bending moment will be half of minus 16 into 2 which will be again minus 16 i will repeat bending moment will be half of height multiplied by base so half of half will be cut with this and we will left with with minus 16 so again if i have taken one division is minus 8 so minus 16 will be somewhat here and since this shear force the degree of uh, the shear force line uh, the slope of shear force line is decreasing and negative so and this is first degree so bending moment will be second degree curve and that will be in clockwise direction it will not a straight but it will be like this and this will be minus 16 newton kilo newton into meter now we will move toward this portion the area under this shear force diagram will be the bending moment and this is also triangular so its uh, bending moment will be equal to half of this height which is 16 into 2 and this will again be uh, uh, zero because uh, minus 16 is also there and this will be plus 16 so minus 16 plus 16 will be zero so at this point we will get the uh, bending moment zero so it will be like this now again here the same repetition it will give you minus 16 just like this so 
0 minus 16 will be minus 16 so it will be this point and if you join them it will be a second degree and clockwise in direction now for this portion this is minus 16 now for this portion you can see this is again this area will give you plus 16 so minus 16 plus 16 will bring it to 0 and this will be your bending moment diagram so from this bending moment you can see that maximum value of uh, the maximum value of uh, bending moment maximum value of bending moment is if you take the mod so minus 16 kilo newton into meter is equal to 16 kilo newton into meter so our maximum bending moment that we have calculated from shear force and bending moment diagram is 16 kilo newton into meter now we have this value we have c what will be the c so c will be if this is the neutral axis so this c will be equal to h by 2 and that will be equal to 1.25 b over 2 and this c will be equal to 0.625 b so we have b we do not have i so we will calculate i so how you will calculate i so i we know that i is equal to 1 over 12 b h cube clear so 1 over 12 b is there and h is equal to 1.25 times b whole cube so when you calculate it you will get i is equal to 0.1627 b power 4 okay now you have all the values you can just put it in this formula sigma allowable is also given so let proceed further so sigma allowable is equal to maximum bending moment into c divided by i so maximum bending moment is 6.5 megapascal so uh, sorry allowable stress is 6.5 megapascal so 6.5 into 10 to power 6 and maximum bending moment is 16 into 10 to power 3 and c was 0 0.625 times b that we have mentioned about divided by i and i is this 0 0.16 27b power 4 so when you calculate it so you will get all the values in term of b and you can easily calculate b which will comes out to be 2.1143 meter or in term of millimeter it will be 211 millimeter so now you have bread you as we know that height is equal to 1.25 times b so you can just put so you will get this height will be equal to 2.264 millimeter now you have this beam rectangular beam that we have drawn above not this portion so this b is 211 millimeter and this height is 264 millimeter so how we will ensure that these dimensions are correct or not so for that we will check the shear force uh, uh, and um, we will compare it with the allowable shear stress so how you will check that as we know that uh, shear maximum sharing stress is equal to v into q max divided by i into t so we have v maximum sharing stress you can see from here that is 16 we have i we have the thickness which is 
our width which is 211 millimeter we do not have q max so what we will do is that we will calculate q max and q max is equal to y dash bar into a dash a dash now what is a dash and what is y bar so y bar is actually um y bar is actually if you take the half of this let me show you if you take this is the half so y bar is distance from neutral axis to the mid of this and a dash is this area which is equal to 0 0.625 b multiplied by uh, multiply by this bread b clear so area will be a dash will be equal to 0 0.625 times b multiply by b clear and uh, this uh, y dash will be new from neutral axis to the mid so it will be c divided by 2 c divided by 2 which is equal to 0 0.3125 b okay so i will write y dash is equal to 0 0.325 3125 0 0.3125 b into a dash was 0 0.625 b into b so it will be equal to 0 0.195312 5 b cube okay now you have b as well so you can just put the value q max is equal to 0 0.1953731 3, 1. this is 1 3 1 2 5 into b is 211 millimeter so 211 millimeter if you put it in meters so 2.11 whole cube so you will get q max is 1.8461 into 10 to the power minus 3 cubic meter and i is again here we have i i was give this one this is the value of i 0 0.167 1627 times b b4 so b 0 0.211 power 4 so from here you will get i is 0 0.3252 into 10 to the power minus 3 cubic meter so just put it in this formula i will put it okay so tom x is equal to v v is 16 to 10 to the power 3 q max is 1.8 eight four six one into ten is power minus three divided by i is zero point three two five two four eight into ten is power minus three multiply by thickness our thickness is weight actually which is zero point two one one so when you calculate it you will get maximum shear stress comes out to be four twenty nine into ten is power three pascal or it will be tom x is equal to 429 kilo pascal now you can see this is 429 kilo pascal and we have been given allowable stress is 500 kilo pascal so tau allowable is equal to 500 kilo pascal so tom x is less than tau allowable clear so it means that our rectangular beam is okay and that is and the dimensions are as per required load given in the problem so i hope you have enjoyed this video again if you have any question you can ask me in comment section those who are new are requested to subscribe my channel and keep watching thank you